A question I get asked a lot is, how do you hook up and program or set up your Roku? So, come on along, and I'll hook up the new Roku 3 to this television behind me, program it, and have you just follow along with me over my shoulder. It's very easy to do, and pretty soon you'll have your Roku running at your house. Let's start by going over what equipment you're going to need to be able to pull this off. Of course, the first thing you're going to need is a television. To hook up your Roku 3, you're going to want to make sure that your television has an HDMI input in the back of it. That's that small port at the bottom. You want to make sure that you have one of those. You also want to make sure you have your Roku 3, your remote, an HDMI cable, the power supply, and batteries to go into the remote. The back of the Roku you can see has an HDMI port also and a port for power. There's also an Ethernet port, although in my case here, our Wi-Fi is pretty good, so I'll be operating the Roku via Wi-Fi instead of connecting it directly into my network. Okay, so let's set up the Roku first. We're going to take the HDMI cable and take one side of it, disconnect the, con the cover that comes on it that's just there to protect it. We're going to connect it into the back of the Roku, just like that. The other item that's eventually going to go in, this power supply is going to connect right back in there, but we'll do that after we connect the other end of this HDMI cable into the back of the television. So you can kind of see the HDMI port is right back in there. So I'm going to take the other end of this HDMI cable. Again, I'm going to take the protective cover off of it. Usually these come shipped with a cover on both ends, and that's a uh, pretty much normal for Amazon, which is where I get all of my connection cables. And all I'm going to do is connect that end into that HDMI port behind the television. You can't connect it in wrong. It only goes in one direction. And the audio and the visual, the video, will be transmitted over this same cable, so there is no audio component you need. That's it for that. The next step on this is hooking up power to the Roku 3. Your power cable came with the Roku 3. It plugs into that port right there at the end, the round port, and of course this end goes into your household electrical current. Once you have it powered up, the Roku 3 can go anywhere because the remote doesn't have to point directly at the device. You can hide it in a cabinet and still be able to control it as long as your remote is within Wi-Fi range. Eh, 30 feet maybe at the most. So feel free to keep it kind of hidden. Speaking of the remote, let's get that set up. First thing we need to do is put the batteries in. The batteries come with the Roku 3 packaging, so uh, all you got to do is, uh, once you get this Roku 3, it's going to have everything you pretty much need in it, except, as I mentioned before, an HDMI cable. I recommend that you buy the HDMI cable from Amazon at the exact same time. You get a discount that way, usually, and it's nice and convenient. You don't end up running out to a store uh, to take care of that HDMI cable. Opening up the battery compartment is easy. This button right here on the back presses and the battery compartment slides down about a quarter of an inch. And then, once you slide it down, it lifts off. The new Roku remote with the Roku 3 uses AA batteries instead of AAA batteries like the old Roku remotes did. That means this remote has more power, can go further with its wireless, and will probably last longer on one set of batteries. Once the batteries are in place, you put the cover back and slide it forward till it locks in. Let's set up our Roku. All right, to set up the Roku, after you've turned on the television, you need to understand the remote. It's a pretty straightforward remote. The home key is this little house in the upper right-hand corner. Whenever you're lost, you can press that. It'll take you to the main home page. This back arrow here takes you back one step in whatever you're doing. The OK button is the select button. 
And this is the navigation button, up, down, left, and right. That's really all you need to do setup is to know those pieces of information. So, let's get started setting it up. Okay, here we are taking a look at the screen. Again, all we've done right now is powered the Roku up. First question it's going to ask me is what language we want. Uh, I sometimes might try to be challenging and go with French, but I don't remember that much from my high school days, so we'll do English this time. Okay, now it tells us the three simple steps to set this up. First, we're going to connect to our network. Second, we're going to get the latest software. And last, we're going to activate our Roku. If there's any questions, you can go to that website or you could take a look at our website. We have instructions there too. We're going to press the OK button to continue. It's asking me, what kind of network am I going to attach to? And in this case, it's going to be Wi-Fi. And it's going to look for wireless networks. OK, after it's detected the networks out there, it's going to bring up a complete selection that you can move down and up. ACS ISD Wireless is the one we're looking for. We're going to click on that and then it's going to ask me to put in our network password. Let me do that real quick. Obviously every network has a different password. Now the way you put in the password is you move around the touchpad with the arrow buttons that I showed you at the beginning and press OK to select a character. Once you're done with that, you move down and highlight connect and press OK. It's going to say that it's connecting to the internet. First step is to connect to the wireless network. Once you get a green arrow, that means that you've successfully completed that step. Then it connects to the local network and finally to the internet. And then it says it's time to download any updates. And all you do is press OK to continue. Most of the time, a Roku comes with an old version of the software on it and it needs to be updated. It doesn't take long, depends on the speed of your wireless network, but as you can tell, it moves fairly quickly. We're going to let this finish and then I'll come back. After it uploads the new version of the software, the next step it does is restart the Roku. After it downloads the new software, the Roku will automatically reset. And when it does, it's going to bring you to a welcoming screen and then give you information on how to activate your Roku. You'll have to go to your computer to roku.com forward slash link and enter in this code. Let's take a look at how we do that on the computer. You can use any browser you like. I'm using Safari, although I've done it often in Chrome also. And as it mentioned on the screen, you can see here, I'm going to go to roku.com forward slash link. It's going to bring up this screen and I'm going to put the code that's on the television screen right here. It will only do capital letters so you don't have to worry about capitalization. And then I'm going to press submit. Do I have a Roku account? Yes, I already have one. It's going to ask me to input my Roku information, which I've done, and then I can sign in. It's asking me if I want to add some channels automatically to my Roku. These are some channels that you can put on right now that uh, are free and some are paid. You can see up here in your summary that the value is going to go up based on what you add, if any. We'll put the Blockbuster on demand on there. I don't use it very much for lots of reasons. And then at the bottom, I hit continue. It says you're done. And you can see then the Roku automatically changes. I haven't done anything to the Roku. And it pops up and makes sets up the base program automatically for me. The screen you're looking at now is the Roku in sleep mode or in screensaver mode. Pressing OK will take it out of that. You can see it's updating channels right now. It then says setup is complete. Now let's start streaming. We're going to press OK. Well, we set up the Roku. It's ready to go. I can now start watching anything I want on Netflix, Amazon, or Hulu. I hope this helped you guys. Let me know in the comments below how your new Roku is doing and what's your favorite streaming channel to watch. Take care.